Hey, Ahmad Austin here, and on this video, I'm going to show you how I start most of my paintings. Well, my still life paintings. And basically, I start off uh, with my composition first. Um, I want to definitely have a good composition to have a nice, uh, pleasing painting. So, here I'm just using a scrap piece of paper and, and basically kind of sketch out my um, painting before I start painting. Here I'm using, um, I'm going to be painting three pairs that are sitting on the table. The image should pop up in a minute. And basically, I'm, use, I'm using a light blue pencil, so you probably can't see it that well. I should probably use, use the darker pencil um, for this video, but you get the idea. And this basically, the reason why I'm doing this, I want a nice composition. Sometimes that can make or break your painting. Depend, and, and that really doesn't matter how good a painting is. Your composition uh, sometimes... Uh, plays a big role in your uh, overall success of your painting. So here I'm just doing a nice little sketch so I can get my composition right. And that's it. Now that I have it, I'm going to start working on my drawing for the uh, on the canvas. Again, I'm using a, a light blue pencil. Probably should have used a, a darker pencil. For some reason, I just like blue. I just like drawing blue. And this is basically just my sketch, my drawing. I'm going based off of my uh, my thumbnail sketch, as well as the still life itself. As you can see, I'm starting to add in the value a little bit. I don't want to do this just so I can have a, a idea of where all the shadows will be on my um, still life. And again, I'm just lightly sketching um, my shadows around the pair. And now I'm going to start on my underpainting. Now with my underpainting, I usually just, I'm basically just going to go over my my lines that I drew. And also start adding uh, my value so I can know where to put my dark areas in my painting. Here I'm just using a flat tip brush. Again, I'm just outlining my pairs. And then I'm going to move on to the first layer of my painting, which I'll be adding um, value. So I know where my dark areas and my light areas throughout the painting. Sometimes I use blue paint, uh, and then sometimes I use like a natural brown, like you see here in this video. I was always taught to use blue. I don't know why my teacher told me that, but it's different from everybody, so it's up to you. I say don't use black because sometimes that black show through the painting. You can use a dark color like blue or sort of like a, a natural color that you see that I'm using. Now I do use black when I'm doing my jazz musician because I kind of want the black to show. But if I'm doing something like a still life and I'm trying to go close to realism, I don't want that black to show in between my painting, throughout my painting, through the paint, excuse me. And here I'm going to start adding uh, my value, my dark areas on my pairs. And basically I'm just painting like 
Pain loose. Not trying to make it perfect. Now those shadows may come out a little bit further what I'm doing. But I can kind of fix it as I paint. But again, the purpose of this is just to give me an idea of where I need to put my dark uh, areas when I'm painting. Whether using a brush or a palette knife. I want to have some idea where I'm going to add my dark values and my light values. So I kind of like to do this first before I start painting my still life. Here I'm drawing a line, just kind of break up that all that space up there. I may paint over it. Um, I thought it would be a good idea, but as I look more at it, um, I may just paint over it. Just kind of lightly, just paint in all the areas. And I see all the different values that I see. Some dark, some light. One of my favorite parts of painting is actually adding the dark values. I don't know why it just helped. I guess because it brings the, the object to life. Basically you're turning a two dimensional shape into a three dimensional form. And that's what I like about it. It's almost like you're bringing the object to life when you add those values. And again, I'm just lightly brushing, painting. Some of my paint is running out, but that's okay. I just want to get an idea of what I want, where my dark hair is going to go on my object. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.